Hey guys, I'm Colorful Arnie, and welcome back to Paper Mario. Hey, Twink, those guards have stopped paying attention to us again. Let's sneak out of here. We might be able to find some news to help Mario. Do you think it's still safe to use that sacred path? Don't you think Bowser's figured it out by now? It's still alright, Twink. Bowser hasn't noticed anything. He looks scary, but he's basically a major bonehead. Let's get out of here. Come on. Oh, this is definitely one of the best Peach episodes. I'll probably be here for a while. And now it just skips to us turning out. Oh, yeah, they actually, there actually are still guards here. Huh? Who are you? <laughs> Look who it is! Why, I'm Princess Peach, and who might you be? Oh, you're Princess Peach. Everyone calls me Gourmet Guy for some reason. I guess I'd better report you to King Bowser. You aren't supposed to leave your room. But I am really hungry. Tell you what, I'll keep this a secret if you make me something really yummy. So, Princess Peach, what do you say? Will you cook me something or what? I'd love to cook for you, Mr. Gourmet Guy, but I have no ingredients and no utensils. Ah, that's no problem. There's a kitchen one floor below us. It's five star. You can go cook there. Here, you'll need this. This key will open the door that leads downstairs. Now you can get to the kitchen. We get the castle key! So, I'll just sit here and wait for my yummy meal, okay? Oh yeah, I forgot. There are plenty of guards downstairs, so be, be careful. <laughs> yes, this episode we get to cook for Gourmet Guy. <laughs> Not like the last time we had Gourmet Guy made food. I love the ominous music here. Alright. Yeah, because this time we actually get to do the cooking. Taste Tea doesn't do it. Hello? Is anyone in here? This is shaking. Oh no! I'm caught for sure! Huh? Princess Peach! You're okay! Thank the stars! You're a toad from the castle? How long have you been hiding in here? Well, since Bowser took over, I was so scared of being caught that I jumped into this closet! I'm hiding here until Mario comes and saves us all. Princess Peach, you ought to hide too! It's risky out there! Please don't take any chances! Well, there's a chest in here. We get the last stand badge! When Mario's in danger, he receives only half the damage. Then again, if you're in danger already, you're probably gonna die anyways. Alright, before we start the cooking process, I'm gonna deposit the badges I have into the chest so Mario can get them. I gotta say, playing as Peach, it's not like, oh no, I have to play as Peach now. It's actually like, oh, this is something I look forward to. It gives a nice break from the rest of the game. Let's put in Power Rush first. And now Last Stand. There's nothing else in the library, so don't bother going in there. Alright. This guard can be tricky to get past. Alright, it's the kitchen! Well, here's the kitchen! So, what shall we do first? Princess Peach, this looks like a good cookbook. Let's use it, okay? I like Twink in here. Like all of his expressions like this. How's it look, Twink? Anything look really yummy? Hang on a second. Oh, how about this? Special strawberry cake. Sounds good! Let's whip one up. Okay, Twink, read me the recipe. Well... Okay, please listen carefully. First, put sugar and eggs in a bowl. Go ahead, Princess Peach. When you've finished, let me know and we'll move on to the next step. 
So, I mean, we could just follow the recipe, but I mean, best like chefs just go off recipe. So let's start with some water. We want a nice moist cake. And it's a strawberry cake, so we're gonna need to put some strawberries in. And yeah, we, we'll need sugar. Eggs can come in later. Done? Yep. Okay, let's move on to the next step then. Now, mix and whip the ingredients in the bowl. All set. When I say start, press A as fast as you can for 10 seconds to mix the batter. Are you ready? Start! Give her a break, she's got arthritis. That's great, that's it, great job! Did it go well, Princess Peach? No, but we don't want to say no. <laughs> okay, let's move on to the next step then. Now, put flour and butter in the bowl. Go ahead, Princess Peach. Just let me know when you're done and we'll move on to the next part of the recipe. Alright, so we need butter. And obviously we need to put in like a lot of it. When it calls for butter, we're putting in like 10 veins of it, believe me. That'll make the cake oh so rich. Gourmet guy will love it. But you know what? I'm thinking butter's just not quite enough, you know? Let's put in some heavy cream as well. Ooh la la! Obviously we need some cream. And of course a little salt, because we don't want it to be too sweet. And we'll put in a few eggs. And just a little bit of milk. And uh, obviously we need flour to thicken it up just a little bit. But you know what? There's probably still eggshells in there, so we better clean that up. Oh, uh, let's put in a cleanser. Everybody knows you gotta put in cleanser to make a good cake. Done? You bet. This is gonna be the best cake ever. Okay, after we've mixed the ingredients in the bowl, pour it into the pan. And... it is ready. Okay, on to the next step. Now, bake the batter in the oven for 30 seconds. Okay, head over to the oven. This is a no-bake cake, twink. I know the recipe says we need to bake it, but I improvised, so this is actually a no-bake cake. Press A again after 30 seconds have passed, then take the cake out of the oven. You can't redo this part, so be extra careful. Okay, please put it in the oven. Boom, done. Done? You bet! Okay, put the cake in the, on the table to cool. And I just got a text from my sister saying that I skipped one of the Paper Mario parts for uploading. <laughs> oh, great. It's Lemmings plus one all over again. Yeah, see, look at that. It's solid. Last thing to do, we're going to decorate it with cream and strawberries. Nah, I don't think so. I, I really do think that... Not butter. Not butter. Yes, we're putting down the butter. I was going to top it with cleanser, because it's got that nice blue look, and I think blue frosting would just be beautiful. Yeah, look at that. That is delicious. And... Can we top it with eggs? Yeah, we can. Cool. Eggs. Just a little bit of butter. <laughs> you know, because we didn't put in enough earlier. And... Oh. Obviously, we can't. We, we'll need just a little bit of water that'll give it that nice, clear look. It'll look beautiful. Top it with salt. You know, it's kind of like martinis where you get the salt at the edge of the rim and it makes it great. So I've heard. And now, some strawberries as the finishing touch. Ready? We're done? We are. It looks great! You bet it does. Let's take this to Gourmet Guy. Gourmet Guy's going to adore this cake. And thankfully, we don't have to uh, move past the guards again. Here you go! Oh, I've been waiting so long. I've wasted away to nothing. I know, I saw you, like, you've lost like 50 pounds. It's not good. That's not healthy. Thank you! How dare you! No! 
Ah, disgusting! This is awful! Weren't you learn to cook truck driving school? Go back to the kitchen or follow a recipe or something. What ingredients did you use in that monstrosity? Whatever they were, I think they were seriously wrong. Well, no. He didn't like my detergent cake. How dare he? Okay, Princess Peach, this time we're gonna make a delicious cake, right? We sure are! I know we can! This is going to be the best cake gourmet guy's ever eaten. Okay, Twink, if you please, read me that recipe again. Well... Okay, please listen carefully. First, put sugar and eggs in a bowl. Go ahead, Princess Peach. When you've finished, let me know and we'll move on to the next step. Alright. So sugar and eggs. We're actually going to do the recipe properly this time. And we only need one egg, even though it says eggs. Done? Yep. Alright, now we're going to mix the ingredients in the bowl. I had to mess up the cake at least once. I'm not going to do more than that, though. Boom. Did it go well? Yes, it did. Next step, now put flour and butter in the bowl. Can you believe we don't use detergent at all in this recipe? It's ridiculous. Done? Yep. Alright, after you mix the ingredients, we're gonna bake it. On to the next step! Now, bake the batter in the oven for 30 seconds. Okay, head over to the oven. You can put the cake in the oven with A. Press A again when you think 30 seconds has passed, then take the cake out of the oven. You can't redo this part, so be extra careful, and I'm not using a timer for this. Okay, put it in the oven. Alright, the timer starts when it starts going... Okay, so... Done? Yep. Okay, put the cake on the table to cool. Okay, this is the last thing to do. We're going to decorate it with cream and strawberries. And I think if you put the strawberries on first, it actually messes up the recipe. I gotta say, this looks like an amazing cake. I really want to try it. It's like a strawberry shortcake. Done? Yep. Looks great! Let's take it to Gourmet Guy. Do 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 boom 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 boom. Here you go. Oh, I've been waiting so long. I've wasted away to nothing. Thank you. Oh, oh, oh! Delicious. This is way too delicious. That was really good. I haven't felt this way since, well, ever. To show my you my gratitude, I'll tell you a secret. One of the star spirits is inside Mount Lava Lava on Lava Lava Island. The island is to the south. You should tell this to Mario. But you'd better tell him that there's also a nasty lava piranha guarding the star spirit. He'd better be careful. I really don't dislike Mario. That's why I'm telling you this. He doesn't dislike me because I gave him cake. Oh, are you having cake? Twink, did you hear that? Mount Lava Lava, Lava Lava Island! The Star Spirit's being held inside that volcano! Mario could really use this information, huh? Yes, he could! Twink, I'm sorry that I keep asking you to do this stuff, but can you go tell Mario? Of course I will! I'll do it right now! What a guy. I'll be back soon, Princess Peach! 
What's all this with all the shouting? Keep it quiet in here. So, it was you, Princess Peach. You've got to keep it down. You're a prisoner, and as a prisoner, you need to keep... Hello? What are you doing out of your room anyway? Guards! Get the princess! No! Boom, 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 boom. Whew, ah, fresh air. After being cooped up in there for so long, I could really use some outdoor exercise. My name is Muscular. Mario, I must thank you for saving me. Now it's my turn to help you. Behold! Mario's star energy goes up to four. Mario can now use Chill Out, a new star spirit power. With Chill Out, you can lower the attack power of all enemies. Call on me whenever you find yourself in trouble. I'll always come quickly to aid you in battle. Now, I'm going back to my dear old Star Haven. Mario! Mario, Mario! I have news! News from the castle! Gasp! Honorable Star Spirit! Hi! Mmm... I believe you are Twink, no? You're that youngster who recently ascended from Starborn Valley up to Star Haven. What? You remember my name? <laughs> Why, of course! We're like family! I, I, I'm so touched! <laughs> oh, don't make such a fuss, lad. I'm sure you'll go on to do great things. I must take my leave now. Goodbye, Twink Mario. Wow, I talked of Muscular, the Honorable Star Spirit. I rarely have such a chance, even at Star Haven. I'm shaking. Oops, I'm sorry. I have some important news from the castle. According to the information Princess Peach and I got, it seems that one of the Honorable Star Spirits is being held at Mount Lava Lava on Lava Lava Island. You wouldn't believe what the princess went through to get this information. She had to bake a cake, she made one out of detergent, and Cory Guy didn't even like it! Like, can you believe that? I hope it will be of help. I'm going back to rejoin Princess Peach now. Mario, as always, good luck. The princess and I will keep looking for useful information. Alright! We Well, once I get another level up, I think the Shy Guys will be able to be uh, killed with Spin Attack, and I can get a lot more recipes. Oh, boy! Oh, yeah. The expensive badges are here now. Oh, yeah. Well, first, I'm getting all or nothing. This is a great badge. Need 4 BP for it. Alright, I do not have enough for both of these. I think I will take another FP plus, though. Alright, post office, what have you got for me? Ah, yes, Mario, welcome. Well, it seems you received some mail. Cooper got one from Coover. Here you go. Dear Cooper, how goes the adventure? I can't believe you're hanging with Mario! I'm so jealous! Koopa Village is the same. Colorado's wife is impatiently awaiting Colorado's return. You and Colorado, you guys have so much excitement in your lives. You're so lucky. Anyway, good luck, buddy. Cougar of Koopa Village. That's nice. Paracarry got one from Frost T. Ha ha ha. Here you go. Dear Paracarry, thank you for always delivering my mail, despite snow and ice. Because I live in this cold valley so far from my family, your letters I receive are my greatest pleasure in life. Kind words for my wife and daughter give me the strength to continue my work. My heart leaps with joy every time I hear the sound of your wings. May you never molt your fan frost tea. Well, that's really nice of him. Boom, boom, boom. Hey, dude. All right. So, for my next part, I will be going back to the dojo to fight the next character. It's kind of a tough boss. 
<coughs> ah, Mario, welcome to our dojo. For what purpose did you come here today? We are going to try. Very well. It's time you fought the master. Love the song. To battle! Hmm, excellent move. This is the master. He owes the he owns the dojo, and he's the strongest member. Max HP 50, attack power 6, defense power 0. If he's the best in the dojo, he must be pretty tough. Deceptively powerful, no? Might as well charge. Ouch. Oh, what do you know? Perfect opportunity for the Honey Super. And maybe we'll get enough money from refunds that we can buy the Finn and Rolf's Edge Shop. Whew, that can be tough to defend against. The timing's kind of weird. You go, Goombario. The Kubario charge move is so cheap. Like, it really is. Hmm, excellent move. I think one more charge ought to do it. Ouch. Honey Shroom's kind of a bad item, so might as well get it out of my inventory. Bam. You have natural talent. How's that, Goombario? That's gotta be a nice stroke to your ego. Goodbye, Master. Make sure you've got some health fulfilling items for that fight. Hmm, I see why you're so famous, Mario. You truly are a masterful fighter. Very well, worthy adversary, I give you this. And we get the third degree card. You are welcome to train here with us anytime. <laughs> Where's Luigi? Are you re you were reading my mail? What the heck, dude? Hi, Mario. Are you doing okay? Don't worry, bro. I'll watch the house until you get back. What the heck, Luigi? Letter from Goombaria. To Mario. Are you and Goombario doing okay? I'm fine. Oh, this is Goombaria, by the way. Are you having an exciting adventure? Is Goombario being a hero, or is he just goofing off? You know, I sometimes go shopping in Toad Town with Mom. Maybe we'll see you there. I'd really like to hear some of your exciting stories. I can't wait, really. You can beat up Bowser. I know it, Goombaria. Hi there, Mario. Are you eating regularly? You know breakfast is the most important meal of the day. People always say that, but that's really not true. The cookbook you gave me really comes in handy. I already know a lot of recipes, but with this book I can cook a world of new dishes. I want to tell you about the latest dish I've been cooking. It's unique. It takes a fire flower and an egg to fix it. When I first made it, it blew me away. It might help you on your adventures. Please come visit and bring those ingredients. I gave you those already. Ooh, from Rolf. Hey, big guy. How are you doing? Rolf of Bad Shop here. Thanks a bunch for shopping at my place. You're a cool customer. To show my gratitude, I'll be waiting for you with all my stock 0% off. Rolf. Wow, thanks, Rolf. You're a, you're a peach. It's funny. Kabario just warped down here. A shy guy appeared at my house the other day. I found it asleep in my bed. Can you believe it? I ran after him, but he was way too fast for me. I heard that a lot of shy guys also appeared in Toad Town. Supposedly, they came from Shy Guy's toy box. It must be somewhere in town. A toy box. I wouldn't mind seeing that. Maybe they have a Nintendo 64. <laughs> Shameless poor product placement. The whole Goomba family visited me today. They said that Goombario is in the care of my brother. Then they gave me a souvenir. 
It was a goom nut, a special treat from Goomba Village. It looked so yummy, I ate it without telling my brother. My FP increased by three. You think he'll notice? <laughs> That's one of my favorites. I don't know why. It's hilarious, though. We're gonna sleep in my own bed. Got half the tasty recipes. Good. The other half pretty much require all required cake mix as an ingredient. Not quite, but it feels like it. And hey, the shy guys are gone, so we can go in there again. Wee! Mario Spinorama! I can't afford that. I can't believe it, it's one of the first fiends in my playthrough that I can't afford. Eh, Koopa Coot, what's up? You probably want Koopasta. Well, I got it! Oh, what per luck! You came at the perfect time, young man! Can you see your way to doing me another favor? Guess the younger generation is so bad after all. I must tell you, there's quite a racket coming from next door! It's far too loud! Say, you and Cooper are friends, no? Well, it's his house, and he should keep his guests from raising a ruckus. I can't sleep with all the noise! Can you go over there and complain for me? Just tell them to put a lid on it. Go as soon as you can! I'm at the end of my rope! Tell them to quiet down. I have your word. I thought you'd be here. Cowards! Let's go to the question. Question. How many coins are needed to buy a mushroom at the shop in Koopa Village? Uh, four coins. You're a nerd! Congratulations! Here's your star piece. You've correctly answered 14 questions. Yeah, Cooper's house is like blowing up. They're arguing in the house. I'm not going in there. Oh, bump it! Shut up, shut up, shut up! The neighbors are starting to complain about your noise. Quit your belly aching. Oh, bump it! Please don't say that. Please. Don't you care how I feel? Oh, shut up! Enough already! Stop brooding over her. It's Cooper's house. Oh, bump it! Does Cooper say anything? Nope. Here's Bombette. Oh, Bombette! You be quiet now! It's no use now yelling my name. I'm off on an adventure doing very important things. I have enough to think about without your puppy love. And besides, you're not my type. I told you that before, so calm down before you blow a fuse. Bombette, oh don't. Ooh, you made her angry. I feel for you, man. But you talk way too much. Uh, she, you need to play it cool, or she'll never like you at all. its I'm sure she'll come around one of these days if you can just... Bombette, oh don't. Well, we calmed him down. That's Bruce, by the way. Gallivant and Groove, guys! You're the man, Mario! Amazing! Stunning! Finally, some peace and quiet. Those punks make a fuss. Now I can finally go back to my sweet dreamland. Hehehe! <laughs> You're a stand-up guy for doing an old Koopa so many favors. This time I'll give you a special gift as thanks. Don't tell anyone, though. I got a reputation to keep. Oh, well, look! I have another favor! Guess the younger generation's not so bad after all. Oh, wait, I... Darn it! I... Uh, no! I want to go back! I've been hearing people talk recently. Apparently, I'm not so popular. People are actually saying I'm cheap. The nerve. A long time ago, I used to be like you. And then I know you dream of me. I like you did. And then finally, hey, are you listening to me? Well, the upshot is I don't really need any help, except... You know all those boos living in Boo Mansion? Well, one of them has an old photo of mine. So, well, I'd like you to ask them if they'd give it back. And if you don't mind, could you hurry up about it? You promise you'll go? Yeah, fine. It's not so far away. We Well, I mean, it kind of is, but not when you've got a special warp pipe system like Mario does.
Is it you, Frankie? Yep. Hey, what can I boo for you? <laughs> An errand for Koopa Koot, huh? Too bad for you. Koopa Koot's been known to use people, you know. His motto is, if it moves, use it until it drops. He got in a couple of fights over his personality way back when. After one really bad one, he started traveling a lot. This is a photo of us from when he passed through these parts. Take this and say hello to Koopa Koot for me. We get an old photo. Is this a photo picture of a young Koopa Koot? He wants this. Koopa Koot wants a lot in life, let's be honest. Hey, hey, that's funny. He wants a lot in life. <laughs> oh, I am laughing at my own jokes. This is bad. And I still need to go back to Shy Guy's toy box and find all the invisible blocks. Believe me, I missed quite a few. I can do that later. Here's your photo, man. <laughs> Great clop of clubbers! I'm in awe of you, Mario. All the days of my youth, like the scent of fresh lemon. Just look at those young lady Koopas. That was so utterly gorgeous. Lovely. The passion. I don't want to hear about this. I really don't. And I never looked back. Anyway, enough of that. Take this as a token of my thanks. You don't have to be so polite, young fella. Take it. Oh, one look. I want another favor. Guess the younger generation's not so bad after all. I really haven't had a tasty meal in my Goomba's age. Miss Tasty's Coop Pasta would really hit the spot right now. Could you head to Kuto Town and have her whip up a batch? Did you hear my belly grumble? I'm ravenous. Please hurry up. Don't let me starve. Here's your Coop Pasta. Plummeting prepare Goombas, you are a man of action, Mario, and you must be psychic. You got that pasta before you even knew I wanted it. This looks simply delicious. I swear nobody should cook the dish besides Taste Tea. She's perfected the recipe. Here's a little token of my gratitude. You don't have to be so polite. Take it. Arch Mario, that's whatever we're having. You've actually done all the favors I wanted you to. Sweet. Wee. Oh, I didn't want to do that. I didn't read the Toad Town news. And also, how many star pieces do I have? 16, very nice. Also, I should rearrange my badges. Actually, yeah, I'm happy with that. Does he have any badges for sale besides HP? Nope, that's the only one. Okay. I didn't know if he was selling the other damage dodge. He'll do that eventually. Totown News. Totown News Flash! What Shy Guy problem? Mario trounces thieves. The little larceny lovers known as Shy Guys have finally quit terrorizing the town. Mario tracked them to their toy box hideout, valiantly dispersed their ranks, and managed to rescue and imprison Star Spirit. To those who would prey on the innocent and weak, we say this, Mario will prevail. I've come back, I'm sure you missed me. I've got a foolproof plan for a coin, see you on the road, Kent C. Koopa. Forgot about that doofus, since we haven't done a lot in this episode, I'm going to take him on. And he, he actually legitimately is one of the toughest bosses in the game. Wait, what? Oh, he's not here yet. Never mind. <laughs> Alright, I guess we'll leave the episode off here. Thanks for watching. Colorful already as always. Please tune in for the next episode. Have a great day, and God bless.